So now, suppose a survey asks, uh, do you support funding research of alternative energy sources to reduce our reliance on high-polluting fossil fuels? Uh, so the sort of the bias issue here is something called a loaded or leading question. Uh, so this question is considered to be a loaded question because the wording, this high-polluting fossil fuels, uh, sort of leads the respondent towards an answer. I mean, you read this and you say, oh, high-polluting fossil fuels, I don't like those. Uh, so yeah, of course I support funding research. Uh, whereas if the question said something like, do you support funding research of alternative energy sources re which may inc uh, which will be funded through increases in gas taxes, uh, chances are a lot more people would say no to that question. So let's look at the next one here. A, a telephone poll, uh, to asks, uh, asks the question, uh, do you, do you often have time to relax and read a book? And 50% of the people called refused to answer the survey. Uh, so the issue here is something called, uh, oops, it's called non-response bias. In this case, the issue is that people aren't responding to the question, and when re particularly when the question is like, do you have time to relax, if half the people are not even answering the question, uh, chances are this is going to influence the accuracy of your study, because the people who answer are probably going to be the people who actually have time to answer studies and surveys like this. So one last one, to determine how long it takes to hit the brakes when an animal runs in front of the car, a uh, hundred college students are recruited and put through a simulator. So the issue here goes back to where we started. This is what's called sampling bias. And it really depends upon who our target uh, population was here. But if we're really figuring out, trying to figure out how long it takes people, where this is just sort of a generic people, uh, then using college students as our sample uh, is probably going to slant the results because college students are probably going to have a higher, quicker reaction time than, uh, than s some other Americans such as, um, you know, senior citizens. And so this, pro this sample is probably not representative of the population and is probably going to skew those results.